Welcome to Big Catch Fishing Mississippi. Today I'm fishing for crappie and brush piles. Most of the fish I caught were about eight feet deep. I'll show you the difference between white crappie and black crappie. Also, I'll go through all of my tackle and I've got a couple of tips that I think will really help you a lot. Today I was catching them on an eighth ounce unpainted lead head jig with a variety of soft plastics, but most of the fish I caught were on monkey milk colored plastics. I'm loving the spotlight lock on my Minn Kota Tarova that I just got put on last week. Let's get started. Right at 11 inches. Good eater size. That's what we're keeping today. Having a fish fry tonight. I was catching them on the Crappie Snacks 1.75 inch soft plastic bait in the Old Faithful color, which is their version of Monkey Milk. It's a great bait and the fish love it. I was using a 1 8 ounce unpainted leadhead jig made by Bucktail Lures. They sell them without the keeper collar on them. The hooks are sharp. They are really good buy. Check them out www.bucktaillures.com. There's one. Good one. Right there by a tree. Get up here. That's a good one. That's 13 and a half inches. Nice one. If they're over 14, I'm letting them go. Please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. There's one. Finally, once you, yeah, once you can get them, get the first one to hit, get them fired up, then you can catch a couple. It's a good 13 and a quarter, black crappie. And this spot lock holds you right there on that same place. It's awesome. Probably the easiest way to tell the difference between a white crappie and a black crappie is by the pattern of vertical banding that's present on the white crappie. Whereas black crappie have a random pattern of black specks, hence the nickname speckled perch. White crappie have five to six dorsal spines, while black crappie have seven to eight dorsal spines. The dorsal spines are the sharp spines closest to the head. Black crappie have an upward shaped mouth with bodies that are more rounded while the white crappie have a larger mouth than black crappie and are longer and thinner. Black crappie are usually thicker and more dense than white crappie. Another point is that during the spawn male crappie will often turn mostly black. This includes white crappie. However, the vertical pattern on white crappie will help you to tell the difference between the two.
There's one. They got that little school. There's a pod of about six of them all fired up. This is a good one. Oh, get up here. Oh, man. Thirteen and a half. There's one. Man, they're fired up now. Woo! These, these are all uh, nice 13 and a half inch crappie, black crappie. Get out here early before all the boats start. Yeah, me too. We got about two hours. There's one. Man, this one choked it. Easy, dude. Yeah, Lord. I got 13 and an eighth. Black crappie. Hey man, how you doing? One of the best tips I've got for you is use this real magic. It is phenomenal. I spray this on my line before I start fishing and it makes the line much more manageable. So just spray it on the line like this. Keeps your lines tangle free and really performing well. As far as the tackle I'm using, I've got my Daiwa Fuego LT2500D-XH. That's just the high speed version and it's a really smooth re uh, reel with a good drag and it's about $100. The rods I use are the crappie sticks, 10 and 12 foot. I use these exclusively. They have phenomenal backbone and sensitivity and they cost 80 or 90 dollars each which you can't beat for the price I've, I've caught hundreds and hundreds of crappie on each of these rods and they perform flawlessly i actually broke one uh a tip on a 10 foot boat flipping about a two and a half pound crappie and called uh, crappie sticks or, or i sent them an um, email they sent me the replacement no questions asked this is a phenomenal company give them a try these are, this is what i use There's one. That's a catfish. Dang. A bass. That's a bass. Now that's a catfish. Dang. A big catfish.
build a channel cat. There's one. Another freaking catfish. Oh, no, that's crappie. Get up here. About 13 inch black. Black crappie. There's one. Dude, right under the boat. That's black. Black crappie. About a 12 and a half, 13. There's one. Every one that I've caught has been about eight feet deep. Eight feet deep? Yeah. Twelve inch white. Oh, it's white crappie. There's one. He was like 27 feet out. That's a good one too. Oh my goodness, look at the size. That's toad black and crappie. Mm. That's like it's 14 and an eighth inch. Black crappie. and eighth. If they're over 14, I'm letting them go. That's a good breeder size. Now I'm at 35 feet right on top of them. I can barely see it. There's one, 30 feet. That's what I need to be doing, casting to them. That's a little year. Eleven and a quarter. Good eating size of black crop. There's one. 25 feet out. Nice eater. 13. So far, everything's come on motion though. That one was on a crappie snacks. I'll show it to you. Plain lead head jig, eighth ounce. Eighth ounce weight pegged with a monkey milk crappie snacks. Seems to be what they're liking. Just kind of reeling it through the school, nice, slow, and steady. 
probably do better without the weight, but it's harder to get you to, it's harder to see it and doesn't make as good uh, videos. So that's, I'm catching enough this way, so. I'm coming right on top of it. There's one. Good Lord. That's a good one. I think it's a catfish. Oh no. That's a nice crappie. Get up here. Boom. 12 foot crappie sticks. A nice one. Nice black crappie. Mm. Man, we are working on a nice live well. Hey, you want some fish? No, I've got, I've got plenty for supper. Just, just checking. You got a nice live well right there. Be safe, Vessus. We're going to eat some crappie tonight. You ready to clean some fish? You got a nice bucket full of crappie. Got the Bubba Blade. I'm loving that Minn Kota Tarova. Awesome, awesome, beautiful morning. Dad, I want to wish you a happy Father's Day and tell you how much I love you. Thanks so much for watching the video today. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. God bless you all. And if you get the chance, please get out there and go fishing soon.